It's so difficult to find Chinese or Asian food uh, or even noodle bar. We found this one right inside of MGM. So we're gonna see the menu. If it's expensive or not. $20 per food, so we're not gonna get it. But i show you this is the Cirque du Soleil inside the MGM. They have somewhat like this area full of restaurants with different brands. Fancy ones, Wolfgang Park. She's the one of the famous. Um, there's a, a theater over there, Cirque du Soleil. If you guys want to walk look for a cheap food court, look for the district restaurant. It's like at the corner. District, they have this thing called food court, which is where the cheap food are located. So we're gonna have different restaurants, starting from pizza, Johnny Rockets, one of the best burger. They have. I'm not sure what is that. She sticks out. I'm guessing it's more like a sandwich and then they have chicken tenders this one we don't have it in Canada so we probably will try that but we're gonna we look ended around. up going to this Wolfgang Park because <laughs> yeah but because it's more worth it the food court is about like the same price or a five dollar difference here Wolfgang Park Let me spill you this big secret for you to save hundreds of dollars on concert tickets. If you're of legal age and someone in Las Vegas hands you a free ticket for a day or night club, it is not a scam but be cautious. You shouldn't share any personal information in the beginning, check the actual ticket, ask for a name tag, and confirm the event on the club's website. Also, whenever you're near the club's hotel, ask the concierge to confirm your guest list status. I don't remember giving out ID or any sort of credit card information to them, but it is 100% free. And for women, you're not only getting free entrance, but you also get a complimentary drink. You don't have to rush to leave. Stay as long as you like. Some clubs have dress codes, and you might also want to ask the concierge for these details and also the locker details. And don't forget your sunblock and sunglasses. They charge a fortune if you need them inside. So we look forward to this one. We're gonna take the bus to the north outlet, go to Bay 19 and look for 406. And there's a schedule here. Again, the regular bus that's not douche. Guessing this is the outlet. And this bus takes you directly there. Going back, it's the place where you get off. 401. Let's put this premium outlet down. Hope it's worth it. This kind of reminds me of Seattle Premium Outlet. If you haven't watched my video, you have to check that out. But this might be bigger. I'm not sure about the price and the tax here <laughs> because we haven't bought anything. But we're gonna start from the right. Okay. It looks like the Seattle Premium Outlet. They have two sides, and but they have more brands. I'm guessing here. Definitely way better than the one in Vancouver by the airport. Mexican drink has a zero alcohol and it's like oil from Clarence for $10. In Vancouver it was like $30, I think. So that's where we the another bus that leads you to Strip. By the way, so we're gonna go there 
and see which bus is it. Turns out the shuttle going to downtown is right across where we get off. So it's here, it's called the CX bus that shows every one hour. the bus it's called the CX bus and there's no stop right so it's directly goes to Flamingo there you go and we're gonna eat Korean barbecue right after this I'm so hungry transfer to the, this uh, bus from the CX bus hope there's no lineup at the Gen Korean barbecue place it's right inside of this plaza I have to eat Korean barbecue this is what we ordered How is it? This is what we ate for two people. Comes up to 77, 78. It's going to be our last night. Not sure when we will come back. This is how the street looks like on a Sunday. There's not many people walking around. I mean, the car is also not as uh, packed like even up there you can see this is 9 p.m. and it's not as busy as yesterday between Cosmopolitan and this for Planet Hollywood so yeah Sunday will be a good time for you to go around house guest so this is like going up the stairs Oh, interesting. This looks so cool. Thank you. Escalator? Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Vegas after August 7 today um, you might have to think twice about driving or taking transit because they might be rerouting because there are a lot of construction going on I was talking to one of the workers they said this construction they prepared for the upcoming F1 uh, on November that's why there's only like one lane that they open and they closed like two out of three lanes for construction look like it is like this so it definitely costs huge and long traffic for example like the bus the douche bus didn't show up on time most of the time so something to consider about so our last night we spent it at the venetian town going back to take our uber or lyft at the mirage and one thing that i didn't know they have their own specific area dedicated for uber or lyft or sometimes taxi separately so you guys have to double check that on google i have something to share 
about the homeless here in Las Vegas. They're so different compared to one in downtown Vancouver. Um, not trying to be uh, like a bitch saying that, oh, the one in downtown Vancouver is the worst, blah, blah, blah. But I met a lot of homeless people here and they were so kind. Just, they're not like zombies or like someone who's like drug addicted. So that's probably one of the different and if you guys have like some cash or some even like water unopened snacks you want to give they will be very happy to accept it and yeah I mean sharing is caring